on a daily basis women in south sudan face daily struggles against violence and infringements of their human rights the world may be celebrating women's day on 8th of march counting the achievements in the fields of health education or women's rights but in south sudan there is little to celebrate conflicting parties continue to use women as a tool of war and revenge several reports released by women rights groups indicate that warring parties in south sudan physically abuse and rape women as a way of either demeaning them or harming their husbands yet despite challenges facing a majority of women in south sudan a few are stepping up the call for a dignified life for south sudanese women for nyagwa william international women's day is not something to celebrate in south sudan by celebrating for me it's actually ticking our checkbox women's right yes uh, social changes yes you know um, healthcare yes you know it's by ticking your achievement what's happening in the country but by just celebrating it's not part of the change for me through her mona lisa initiative a project that seeks to empower south sudanese women nyagwa is training other women on life skills such as tailoring to enable them earn a living but there are only a handful of such opportunities in south sudan and these are mainly in the capital juba elsewhere in the country women continue to pay the huge price of the country's war experts warn that south sudan needs to implement a government initiative for 25 percent of employment opportunities to go to women if it wants to see changes women's bodies have been used as um, battlegrounds when there is a, a, a violence breakout, soldiers will rape women to get back to their husbands and also just to demean the women themselves. So you find that cases of gender-based violence, cases of sexual violence are heightened during these situations. And you find that women have not been spared this, irrespective of their status, irrespective of their age. So actually, South Sudanese women have a lot of problems. South Sudan's government may be focusing on implementing a peace agreement with the opposition, but women in the country are calling for gender equality. As the world marks International Women's Day, their South Sudanese counterparts are calling on leaders to end violence against women and encourage equal opportunities in the world's youngest nation. Patrick Coyette, CCTV, Juba, South Sudan.